Nani, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your brief for your wonderful lady Tabakatuba and to all the new subscribers, welcome to the family and to all the returning subscribers, thank you for joining us and thank you for being loyal to this channel. So you guys, it's been a while since I've been on your screens. I think it's been six months if I'm not mistaken. Um it's simply because a lot has been happening in my life and all and then i decided to talk okay guys it only makes sense for me to record a live update video before i continue with anything so in today's video is basically a live update with the tabaka tuba so maybe please sit back chill relax because i'll be updating you on my life before i go any further guys do not mind the grass and everything behind it's simply because this video is being shot at the back of my house basically at my mini garden because i was meditating and i thought okay why not why not shoot a video so on to the story of the day so life update with utabokatu what has been keeping me busy and why was i away for all those months so basically i'll start from the bottom from the top from the bottom yeah I'll start from the beginning. So basically, guys, um, if you all remember, um, 2018, I took a gap year, right? So taking a gap year in 2018, if someone had told me in 2018 that more girl, 2022, you're going to be in Europe, I was going to tell them, oh, you know what? Briga, relax, cause that ain't happening. But well, 2018, I took a gap year. Um, 2019 it so happened that 2019 i registered for varsity and i actually um started varsity in 2019 of august so 2019 i flew all the way from south africa going to kenya and i started my varsity studies and i was studying um biotechnology bachelor of science and biotechnology so because of the pandemic guys a uh, corona happened 2020 i had to go back to south africa i had to go back home so going back to the to, to sa in 2020 i never thought it would be basically my last year in varsity my last day in kenya and all i mean what i had in mind was that oh you know what after corona i'm going back to school so 2020 the whole of 2020 i was in i was at home and then uh, 2021 schools opened like officially opened and i had to fly back to kenya eh, umokel had different plans this time around so 2021 um i decided oh you know what i'm thinking of going to europe but now the problem was, we would see how do I actually relate, how do I actually explain to my parents that I'm thinking of quitting varsity and starting Dodge in order to go to Europe and work as an au pair. Fine. I had to hold a family meeting. You know, you know the black culture, it's not the kids that hold a meeting with the parents, but it's the parents that hold a meeting with the kids. So basically, this time around, I was like, you know what, Mugel, you just have to have a leave. So like, okay, guys, um, may I please talk to you? There's something important that I'd like to discuss with you guys. Then I'm like, okay, we all ears, yeah, start talking. Then I had to relate to good. Um, I've decided that remember it's 2021. Eh? Uh, I told them, okay, guys, I've decided not to go back to varsity. I'm actually planning on quitting varsity and I'm planning on pursuing um Europe. I'm thinking of going to Europe and working as an au pair and then later on um continuing with, with school. And then they were like, Dabok, you want to quit varsity for going to work as an au pair and then continue with 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 school. But guys, you know what? My argument was so strong to a point that they were actually convinced. They're like, okay, my girl, if that is what you want, we'll definitely support you. So, okay, fine. Um, the journey began. Uh, 2021 may i enrolled for dutch classes so dutch it is the language that is used in most of the european countries right it's german so i enrolled for the for, for the course i started studying the language and all and then in june i wrote my exam after writing my exam i got a certificate so i mean what i had in mind was that would you know what upon getting the certificate if i if i if i write the exam in june and get the certificate probably first week of june by august i'll be in europe eh? can't little did i know after getting the certificate remember what I, I i i wanted to come to europe as an au pair right so after that i had to start to look for a family um before we even get to the point of looking for a family, the first problem is the embassy. Remember, I'm staying in South Africa, but then I'm a Zimbabwean. That simply means that I have to, to apply at the Zimbabwean embassy, the German embassy in Zimbabwe. Hey, because of Corona, the embassy was closed and basically there was nothing that I could do because they were not issuing out um, appointments and all and all and all and all. Guys, I became so stressed. Okay, fine. What will I now do? Because I've actually given up 
diversity for this dream and this is not basically happening what is next but you know what i just had to persevere so i kept i kept on being patient hoping which you know what probably the embassy will open time time went by july august september october still nothing eventually the embassy opened but then they had to start with the guys that had that, that had earlier on registered so i mean i registered at the embassy in june and apparently there was a waiting list so that the waiting list had started in february so when they opened they started with the guys that had registered in february before the guys before the waiting list and and remember we're now in october there is no europe there is no university there is nothing hey a depression started you now not really depression but i started second second guessing which did i make the right decision was i was i was i not forward was it okay did i make a mistake and what and what and what and what but then fortunately enough my sister in germany she was like ah, Tabaka, why don't you try um the austrian embassy in south africa because apparently there's an austrian embassy in, in south africa and they're issuing out what they're issuing out um appointments so I was like ah okay then i I spoke to the embassy. I wrote, I wrote them an email. I explained, and they were like, "Yeah, it's okay. You can you can come and apply for a visa." But then now the problem was, I first have to have an Austrian family. And remember, Uguti with the German family, there are agencies every helping or pairs to find families. But then now with the Austrian um embassy if you have to find uh, a family on your own so guys i had to start the whole process on my own finding a family and everything on a daily basis i think i was writing um to almost 100 families on a daily basis hey, I'm, I'm interested i would like to be okay hey, i love kids i like this my hope is that this and this and this and this and that guys i was getting either rejections or probably hey your daughter is not that good or probably want an pair that is going to come as early as december and you just you just so late just an excuse after the after the next but i was like you know what i'll not give up because i started this already so i continued being persistent and everything up until there is this particular profile that i bumped into it was an austrian family austrian family and they had two kids they have two kids and the profile was just so good and everything so i wrote to them it was in november they didn't reply guys and right now we're in december of 2021 and then i thought to myself good i am okay you know what you're not going to continue worrying yourself about europe right now so with december so you're going to start your december and you're going to have the festive spirit this open thingy thingy in europe you're going to think about it in january so i just forgot about everything december really i was all moods all hyper dancing and everything you know it's december time January, guys, it was on the 3rd of Jan, 2022. I got a message from this family telling me that they're interested, they'd like to talk to me, blah, blah, blah. I gave them my app number. We started communicating and, oh, eh, little did I know. It was the second week of Jan. They sent through the contract. Hey, guys, you should have seen the excitement. So I'm now thinking, it's okay, fine. I've got an appointment at the embassy. I've got the contract. So on she everything is going to flow little did i know what you can do with austria there is it's totally a different process compared to germany in austria i first have to apply for the residence permit and then after that the visa so i went to the embassy the first time it was on the 24th of feb to apply for the residence permit and my residence permit was approved in march it was on the 20th 25th of march yeah and then i had to go back to the embassy again on the third of april if i'm not mistaken to apply for a visa and my visa was was approved i think four days later the day when i got a message from the embassy with girl your visa has been approved <coughs> sorry guys sorry guys sorry guys for that break i just had to so the day i got a message from the embassy that your visa has been approved i couldn't stop jumping around the house would you guys my visa my passport everything is set so basically um i left um africa i left south africa on the 20th of april and i landed in austria on the 21st of april to resume to resume to resume um to resume everything as an au pair and life in austria so basically guys this is the small life update that i have with that i have for you today um 
that is it's been a beautiful month in the land of Osterreich and so far so good I'm so happy and everything is going according to plan and I'm so glad guys that I took that leap of faith and was like you know what I'm going to do this as much as it's scary and it's, it's risky and everything but you know what I'm going to do this and I'm never never ever ever looking back I'm actually happy because yeah I'm actually happy that I took that decision because I can feel you with guys let me you can see my i'm glowing or it's not showing <laughs> so basically that's the life update that i have with me today and one lesson that i've learned like in those whole transition from varsity to europe and everything that one that one life lesson that i've learned is that guys if you've got a dream like just go for it against all odds and against all risk that syndrome of uguti abantu bazotini quitting varsity for this it doesn't work if you feel as if what you're pursuing is much better than where you are right now then go for it like why not guys why not go for your dreams because basically the sky is the limit and one other saying of saying the sky is the limit but yet we're folding our arms it won't take us anywhere the sky is the limit for those that stand up and take action and you know what guys before i start being woman food this right now and a motivational speaker and um, thank you for watching my channel do not forget to like to comment to subscribe and to share i'll be back again next week with another interesting another vibe video do not forget to subscribe to subscribe to subscribe mwah, mwah, mwah. larity loves you thank you for tuning